We're covering a community tonight in Athens where many people want answers about a new asphalt plant. WFO 48's Claudia Peppenhorst has been following the residents ongoing battle for weeks now. Claudia, those residents back at it at City Hall and demanding a change. Yes, Liz, these people want answers. They want to know why the city council chose to de-annex the area in the first place and what they're going to do to help them now. Now, these local residents presented specific questions to the Athens City Council tonight regarding a new asphalt plant. This plant will be built in a recently de-annexed portion of Athens by Grayson Carter and Son Contracting. Now, residents want to know if the city can do anything to help them stop the asphalt plant, like revoke Grayson Carter and Son's business license. They also asked how this plan will benefit the public health and welfare and how city council will address property values and the current conditions of the roads near the plant. Recently, the city council submitted a resolution to the Alabama Department of Environmental Management strongly opposing an air permit that was requested by Grayson Carter and Son. However, that permit was recently approved by ADEM, but nearby residents are not the only ones concerned about the plant. A representative from the NAACP also spoke tonight saying he is concerned as to why this area was chosen. Whenever uh, environmental issues come up, it seems like uh, the uh, marginalized uh, community is taking advantage of in the aspect of placement of these facilities. So uh, we're very much concerned because that community is heavily populated with minorities. Now, I had to step out of the meeting early to work on this story, but residents just approached me, letting me know that the city council president closed public comment early in regards to the de-annexation. I'm about to head back into the meeting to see if there are any further steps residents can take. Reporting live in Athens, Claudia Peppenhorst, 48 on your side.